Today we're gonna to take a look at the Orbet wireless uh, keyboard and mouse pad, and we're gonna compare it to the i8 Plus. Now, the Re i8 Plus has been my go-to recently controller for Android and all kinds of stuff where I want a wireless small little keyboard I can hold in my hand with built-in mouse. But I was sent this, um, I'm assuming to say Orbit, Orbit, however you want to say that. It's a little O-R-B-E-E-T wireless controller. So I thought we'll do a little side-by-side -side comparison, unboxing, kind of show them the difference. Now I've already played around with one of these, but I wanted to kind of show you everything that comes with it and kind of give you a side-by-side -side look at the differences between the two. Now this one does have a slightly better backlight. Let me say that right off the bat. The newer version does, of the i8 Plus does have a backlight, but this seems a little bit brighter. Not that the i8 Plus is bad, um, but that's one thing to keep in mind if you think that's very important to you. Uh, the touch um, wireless uh, touchpad here for the mouse is very consistent. It's got the same abilities on both of them that allow for ease of use on it. The keys feel really good. You get a nice clicking sensation on it. I don't know if you can hear that. Similar way you get with the i8. Almost identical. Size-wise, they're pretty comparable. A little bit thicker. Um, the i8's a little bit thinner. I do think the battery's a little bit better in this one, um, but not by much. Aesthetically though, I think the i8 Plus is a little bit nicer looking if I would have this sit in my living room. It's all black, nice, consistent. Not so, um, not that big a fan with the Fisher Price orange plastically looking. It does have shoulder buttons on this version, but they're not the greatest quality. Just gets a weird sound feel to it. Um, past that, you got some pretty uh, straightforward additions here. This one, the um, Orbit, we'll call it, does have like a .com button and www for entering in repositories. Um, the function keys here across the top are a little bit smaller than the i8 uh, Plus. The keys across the board on the i8 Plus are a little bit bigger. Um, past that, you know there's not a lot to say about this. The ranges are comparable. The um, the keys here are a little flatter. The only negative I think I, I could really say is the keys are slightly smaller, which makes you look at it a little bit more. And at the top, this is just a little bit smoother where if you're not looking at it, you're not used to it, it could be a little harder to feel. Where on this one, it's just, the keys pop out a little bit more on the directional pad, the play pause. They're just up there a little bit better, a little bit easier to see without looking at it. So, is there anything wrong with either one of these? No, maybe slightly bigger battery in this one, in my personal testing. Um, slightly bigger keys on the IA Plus. Um, the touch pads are almost identical. The directional pads though on the i8 Plus are better in my opinion. This has better backlight for nighttime uh, viewing um, with shoulder buttons for gaming. Though I really wouldn't recommend this as a gaming controller. Um, they're not very good quality there. Um, and aesthetically, I kind of like the i8 Plus a little bit better. I like the all black for sitting in my living room. Not a big fan of the orange on that. Just don't, doesn't think, I don't believe this looks as nice sitting in there. This version also has a little piece of plastic kind of dangling off there that needs to be ripped out. Um, both of them have the little behind the door there with the uh, battery and the little uh, USB stick there. So overall, uh, two thumbs up to both. Give whatever one you like. I don't think you could will go wrong with either one. Um, I'll link to both of them in the show notes. The, um, the Orbit here, you know, it definitely has its advantages with backlighting, and I think a little bit better battery. Maybe it's because this battery is getting old, I'm not sure. A little bit smaller, a little bit nicer looking, a little bit bigger keys, a little bit better directional pad. So buy whatever, we, whatever one you want, two thumbs up. Hopefully this video has helped you find the right wireless keyboard for you. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them or join us every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern on YouTube. We do a weekly Q&A show where we answer all your core cutting related questions. You can also find us at corecartersnews.com on Twitter. Just look for at corecartersnews and facebook.com slash corecartersnews. We really appreciate your following for more great core cutting tips, reviews, how-to guides, all in effort to help you get the most out of your core cutting experience.